Hey, I'm Chris with Mobility Solutions, CarryOnUSA.com. I got the Golden Kickstand in. I'm going to show you how to install it. Now, this is what it looks like installed on the unit. Um, it might be easy, it might be hard, just really depends, but I'm going to show you how to do it. It acts as a, a stand up. It also gives you an extra handle at the back for lifting into the vehicle. And they do have this to store an extra battery if needed, or you can put something else back there. So, pretty cool. If you have a GB120 and you don't have the kickstand, we offer two different types of kickstands. The kickstand from Golden and the kickstand from CarryOnUSA.com, the original. So, let's get started. You're going to use a 7 and 32 key. So, again, this is the kickstand. So, how it's going to come like this. There's not going to be really any instructions. Just open this bag like so. You just mentioned be aware. Of yeah. Properties. And just, you know, when you do this, I'm going to show you something. There's a washer right here that sometimes it'll fall down and sometimes it won't. So let's hope that kind of stays where it's at. But when you get this, you're going to be like, well, how does it go? Well, you see this little box? They put this box here to protect this switch back here. Um, so that's down. Okay, you see this? That's up. Um, and this is going to have to come across and kind of fit into there. You're going to replace the original bolts that come with this with these because they're longer. So you go ahead and get these out. These are going to be what you're going to use here once you take these out. So we'll start on one side first and hopefully everything goes smooth. If you do drop that washer, we're gonna, you might see us leaning it up on its side to get that back in. So first of all, you're just going to remove this right here. And you should have this size around the house. So see how that moved? I would probably hold that over actually. Yeah, and so what we found is we might have to remove this one also, this little thing, and you can put it right back in. So just go ahead and remove that. Now, if, you ha if you're ordering one of these new, like right now, you don't have to worry about doing this. So I'll get that in a minute. I don't want to drop this. So I'm going to take this. I took the one out. I'm going to put this and get it to fit inside like so. I'm going to take this and get it back in there and start screwing it. Now, on this side, the, the, the nut's being held, but keep this pushed over. That's kind of critical because that might keep that from falling over. And you don't need to really over tie it, just enough to get it going to where you can feel it coming in. See how it's starting to come in over here? Now we're safe. We are safe. We're going to take this side out now, or you could have um, went ahead and done that, you know, loosen it up a little bit. Just loosen that, and we're going to hold that against, because we're hoping that doesn't come out. If so, you can get it back in. It's just a pain, but let's just hope it doesn't. See that nuts coming out, just kind of push your finger back and pull it out and hope that the other thing doesn't come out. Take this and we're going to see if we don't have to remove that, but we are. So while we have to remove this, just so you know, do this beforehand, don't do it after because it's, it needs to get it down a little bit further. So note, take, that's pretty long. It's usually not that long. Take this out first. So you don't have to do what I just did. And then you gotta get this inside of here and hope that you don't drop, that washer doesn't fall. And I'm just using my fingers. You might have to, no, I got it. I wanna do this without using two people 
um, but you might have to. But so far, so good, I think. And look like it's going in. Now this thing, if, if you don't get this little plastic inside of here, it's, it, you're not gonna be able to tighten it up, but I think I'm clear. I am, I'm clear. So now what I can do is put this back right here, which is a little bit harder to do than before. Well, let me just tighten this up. So now we're just gonna tighten it. You can see it all going in. Oh, that's perfect. So that was the easiest way to do it. So hold that again, hold that when you do it. So you get that there, we'll come back here, tighten this side up a little bit. So there's a price increase coming across the board with gold and just a heads up. If you can get your orders in before June 3rd, we'll lock you in. If not, if you're watching this video and you haven't ordered one of these scooters, give me a call. I'll give you the best price online. I will do my best to be the lowest price you'll find, but we offer the best customer service by far than any dealer out there online i would agree i would think look at that we're done there's your kickstand installed your golden kickstand um, little mesh pot put an extra battery back there so this this scooter is pretty nice um, now when you buy these brand new you're going to get these kickstands so if you ordered one from someone else and you're ordering these kickstands just wait to see if you got one of these um, you have an option of buying it with a 15 amp hour long range battery that's not TSA approved. And we also have the 300 watt hour battery that is TSA approved. So two options of batteries at the moment, the long range 18 mile or the short range T or long range TSA 14 miles. Check us out at carryonusa.com. This is the golden kickstand. That's how you install it. My name's Chris. Call me if you have any questions at 803-926-22. 24.